back All right, so with uh, Riley Hulbert and Andrew Mahone. And uh, this is Buzzgarb versus Zorpod. <laughs> this is yep. Buzzgarb versus Zorpod. So we see on Andrew's side, he's starting with a Buzzwell GX, the big boy in the active. He's going to nest ball here for a Trubbish, I imagine. Yes. He wants to get the Garbodor yeah, online get that as soon right as possible. So, for Riley, he started with the Mew EX, which is probably your best attacker in this matchup, <laughs> although it gets as, countered by exactly, Garbodor. Exactly, as yeah. long as the Garbodor is not online. But you, we do see that. Uh, so that Riley, Andrew has the uh, Garbodor actually in his hand already. Riley was able to beat Andrew earlier today. Yes. And Andrew never. Andrew got the Garb out for one turn, and Riley knocked him oh out goodness. immediately. Yeah, that's, so, yeah they, the, the Galissapod will just go right in there and, and pound it. Yeah, unfortunately, we're going to see probably from Andrew, he's going to get the Trubbish, and it looks like he has the tools in hand yeah, to get out the Garbodor on his second turn. Yeah, yeah. So I, I think he just think holds his hand. I, mean, I, I think he just holds his hand. Him on it for a turn. Why? Because we see a treasure in his hand too, right? We see a treasure and no, a No, no, no. He has a Fury Belt, a Garbodor, and oh, a Tapu Oh, he has a Garbodor in his hand. So I think yeah, yeah, yeah. He has the yeah, I think he just, I think he holds. You know, yeah. he wants energy for sure. He wants energy on the active. I yeah. mean, there's nothing more you want with this voice but anyways, right? Exactly. A buzzwell with an energy, a fury belt, and a garbage. That's all you want Yeah, to do. and you got to figure that Mew isn't really going to be a threat until the second turn anyway, when a Zoroark and a Galissapod and all that stuff could start showing up on the board. I mean, I don't think there are any major attackers that he has to worry about be, having copied on the first turn. Yeah, for sure. That's so true. That's now, so Riley true. only plays two field blower, too, so if Mahone can get a tool down next yeah, turn, I mean, that could be very, there are very chances devastating. that Riley can't even knock that off. And so we do see the fighting energy go on to Buzzwool here, so he's going to start to get that powered up. Don't do it, Andrew. Don't no, play. Come I think on. pass? Yeah, I think I think you just got to pass. It feels, yep, yes, there it is. Very nice. Okay. Yep. Very nice. Outstanding. And he holds the Fury Belt, too, because, I mean, so Riley's hand Yeah, there, there's bad. no reason to reveal it right now. And... I think see. He's got Riley the, is going to lose this game. I, I, I have to imagine he's going to... Oh, oh. Single puzzle oh. never looks and good. And th those three cards didn't look good either. I mean, I especially if think Mahone he has can get the Garb out. Okay, so he, oh, okay. he can So he's going to put together um, a Bridget, maybe? He, he should gonna, put the Bridget. Gonna be he should turn. anticipate that this Garb is going to come on next he's turn. He's going to then... Yeah. yeah, Bridget, and it doesn't a matter what the second card yeah, is. I mean, I think it's got to... Well, I mean, you could argue for a draw supporter, but he's going to shuffle when he Bridges. Was Was that a Lele or was that a Bridget? It was Bridget. Bridget. Okay. It was Bridget. I think, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it was Confirm Bridget. Bridget. Yeah. Confirm so Riley, Bridget. for Riley, this is uh, horrible. Um, not the position you want to be in, of course. No, he, not uh, at And all. The, the, the funny thing is, I you know I, I played the list that Riley played, um, you know for the tournament for as Bridget. well. We play, you know, for Bridget. That seems to be the new thing. Oh, right? I, I, That's I, three I, Lele, four Bridget, yeah, and a mysterious and four, treasure, and, and four Ultra Balls, and a mysterious treasure. Yeah, yeah. It, it's twelve a, outs. It's a thirteen <laughs> outs. We play one 13. mysterious treasure yeah. too, <laughs> and to see him fail, and I failed twice in two of my games. It's like, how much more can we do? Yeah, and I don't. Think and all the I mean, there's diminishing like, returns at some point. Yeah, and, well, sure. And the only piece that Mahone is missing here is the uh, is the floatstone, and he's gonna he's gonna sick him more. I mean, with, I mean, he plays with, so with many copies. He made so deck. many tools. Yeah. yeah. Well, and he's also like he in, a, in a bad scenario. Yeah, he could drop a fury belt down on there. Well, exactly. actually, I think yeah, he's gonna go for the fury belt. Yeah, fury belt's definitely gonna be because of course. because. He knows Riley's hand is dead. He has another yeah. extra turn to get a floatstone on the Garbodor, which is going to be more important than getting a Fury Belt. Down. Yeah, and, I, and I, I, I agree that you do have to bench that second Trubbish. Because if 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 the board, if Riley's board state were to advance, then a Guzma could potentially be a problem. I mean, I actually think he puts a floatstone down. Now. I mean, no, to be honest with you, I, because he he doesn't need abilities on his side of the um, of the field anyways. Yeah, right? but you're not you're not preventing Riley from doing anything. You're preventing Riley you're from preventing using Mew's ability. Yeah, yeah. What you're what ability is he gonna copy? What attack is he, he gonna? Could copy? ram. I mean, well, he I mean, could, I just, he could use Mewtwo's. He could use Mewtwo's attack if he if he bridges yeah, for a yeah. Mewtwo and then and then puts I mean, a DC on. There's the no Mewtwo. I, I mean, he, he's, has, I, he's I on the top the of his only, deck, right? The only energy in Riley's hand is a is a grass energy, but Mahone doesn't know that, so. You have, I think if you're, I think if you're Mahone, you have to put the, the float stone on. If it gets field blowered, then it's like I, there's no downside to putting. The no, float no, stone. there's not. Because, and if it gets field blowered, there's one of the two field blowers gone. And you, you know, like puzzle, puzzle of time can retrieve at most three, three cards now because he did single puzzle. So he, he would have to. Uh, recycle that that puzzle back with the first double. Yeah, I like this. Trying like to go this. for more pots. I mean, yeah. Zorark, the Zorark's, Zorark's not going to do very much yeah, right now. So it, 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 its abilities turned is turned off, and it's it's weak to, to fighting. So I mean, how much are you really going to accomplish by setting up a board full of Zorarks? He also has the grass energy in hand, and not the uh, and and not the double color. I think you attach. So he has. He also has the Glissapod, which I'm is here, a big I attach. Deal. I actually agree with Nob because you don't want to get Guzma to lose your only energy. 
Especially because the Mew is inactive now. That's exactly. Fair. Because because Riley a Dazzle Click has a Guzma uh, and a Galissapod. That's fair. So, so the only play that... Well, one of the plays that Riley has for next turn is to Guzma up the, the Garbodor. Garbodor. And yep. knock it out. The sad thing... Okay. Ooh. Oh. That's an interesting decision. Now, so he, he Andrew, is doing 60, so he, he is going to knock out this Mew. Buzzwell, so. He is going to knock out this Mew. Yeah. Of course. Andrew, I mean, puts, uh, Andrew puts a strong energy on the benched Buzzwall. Andrew's anticipating of, some shenanigans next turn. I mean... Yeah. Yeah, he, he figures Riley's got something in his hand that he's got to be able to do next turn. I mean, imagine if Riley gets, you know, lower on these two and, and is able to knock out Buzzwell. I mean, it's insurance. The strong's insurance. Mm. Well, and, and I also agree that here that, you know, we're going to see... He's, I think Riley's going to go for the Garbodor on his turn, but I think that um, I think Andrew also wants to try and find that second Garbodor. And we do see B string, we see Beast Energy, so lots and lots of options. And you know, and obviously, if I'm Riley here, I want to knock out this Garbodor and then probably knock out a Buzzwall just to deny that baby Buzzwall its big attack. Now the question is, does Riley have? Grass, Galissapod, and Guzma in his hand. He I does. see Guzma. He does. Oh. He, he has all three. That is very good. That is. Uh, now, if I'm Riley, uh, do I evolve my Zoroark? I think I don't. He and has a Zoroark. He's gonna, GX he's gonna bring the Zoroa in, into the active because he's going because he's he's going to play a Guzma here, and we ha we have to think that this Garbodor is going down. See, I almost wouldn't. Uh, See, that, that, there? Yeah, but, I, I don't uh, know if I would have evolved that, but we are going to see a first okay. impression knockout here from Riley. Because I mean, Andrew, Andrew has the Guzma in his hand. Yeah. Uh, so I think we, Riley's just going to get really, really punished for this. Yeah, and, and, really and punished. he's going to have to come back. Like this is a deck, Zoropod, that does that really lacks OHK, like one shot potential onto big two prize attackers. Mm. He can he can take out the one prize stuff. With a single attack, we're gonna have to see a stretcher here for a first impression. I mean, that's the only way I can see. Yeah, it that's going. the only way I can, that I can. Yeah, because that that Wimpod with seventy hit points, that is a really big number. Now, if you're if you're Andrew here, do you maybe try to go in with the uh, with the Buzzwall and maybe just rather than the Zorak, just knock out the Galissapod here? Yeah, absorption could do it with a Beast or a Strong, and he has yep. both. Yeah, he, he, has he, both. he does have those. So I would almost consider you knock out the Galissapod. You you get rid so of the is free prizes the whole game. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah exactly. You you get rid of the energy here, and it's it's a it becomes a huge deal now. The thing you have to worry about then is maybe Riley stretching into the Mew because he does have a double colorless in his hand. He does, but it looks like Andrew can shut off abilities once again. He has a oh mysterious treasure and a tool oh in hand. Goodness. So I think Boy. he's gonna attach. That will, yeah, that that'll, that'll I, just about. You're right, Jacob. That, I think this might be. Yeah, I this mean, this is a little bit too much. Riley does not yeah, have much in his hand and, at all. And you can you can no. see Andrew's hand is massive. He has, like unless that second Garbodor ends up in the prizes. That is about the only thing I can think of here, because if he's able to activate Garbotoxin here again and then take this knockout simultaneously, that is such a huge turn. You're so right. And he, I don't even think he needs to play a supporter. He's got a Guzma for next turn. He can pick and choose. He can knock this out. Then next turn go, okay, I'm going to Guzma your Zoroark, and that's game. Yeah, you're so right. You're totally right. Um, and so it looks like, yeah, he went for the Mysterious Treasure play, got the Garbodor out. God, this he's map is so beautiful just right now. Gonna Absorption for two ten. Yeah, yeah. Oh my yeah. goodness. Well, and the thing is, with with the with the uh, the play he's in, like I mean, I I don't disagree with the absorption. I think you have to go in for it. But you he could be afforded the liberty of even just using uh, knuckle impact. The problem then being if Riley were to promote the Zoroark GX. Sure, but there's no point in, in doing no. that because you're already at two no. prizes. Mahone's taking three turns. He's down at two prizes. I mean, it yeah. doesn't get much better for no, his deck. No, like he, and, and he's got a fully loaded buzzwall that really, I don't see any way that it gets knocked out right here. I, I don't even know if Riley has a draw support. Like, it, now, if Riley has a, has another Guzma, something he could do here would be to try to drag up, maybe maybe drag up the Garbodor and then pr leave his Zoroark in the active right. spot, no, basically that, that saying... Is, that is a smart play yeah. here. Because that, I mean... Cause then that, the, that well, Garbodor's trapped. Well, the the problem here, though, with the problem with that play now is that he Riley played an Evo Soda, so now the the Galissapod would just come up and get knocked out. Sure. If while it was still a Wimpod, that would have seen that would have made a lot more sense, but because he evolved it into Galissapod, now it has to be of a bit of a concern. And right, he's gonna see whack the Garbodor for forty. For forty damage come down from that Zoroark. Seems fine. And a and Guzma a would end Guzma the game. Wins. Yeah, a Guzma ends the game here, and that is the downside to 
Yep, there it is. So that's it. The quickest game won. Wow. All right. And so, uh, and Andrew yeah, so, Mahone. Wow. So uh, Andrew's deck ran incredibly smoothly. I mean, this is yes, this very, is very much this so. is what Andrew would want against any deck, and Absolutely. he happened to get it against a matchup that you know is is he lost to earlier. So yeah, it's a matchup that can go either way. Sure, it can go either way. Absolutely. So Riley, um, you know, is certainly lamenting that he cut the third field blower. Although it really wouldn't have mattered given his start. I think he loses yeah, to a yeah, lot no, of people. I think Especially given that he did not draw that bridge at turn one. Exactly. When a Zoroark deck, especially going second, I mean, at all, whether even when they go first, but especially going second, when they go second and they do not hit the turn one bridge, it that is, that that is usually going to be curtains. Right. I suspect we're going to see a much much different game from Riley here. I mean, absolutely. I, yeah. I, you know, if I had to predict, I absolutely agree. Yeah. yeah. If I had to predict, I, he's going to get the bridge. Yeah, he's, he's going to set up. The bridge it's going to be real nice. nice. I mean, that, that kind of game does not happen that often. No. Right? Especially it, it with really the consistent. Zoroark is a consistency deck. Like it's a no, draw now, deck. I mean, now, Otto, you and I can attest that there is one scenario where that does happen a lot with Zorak, and that is against Glaceon. Sure, yeah. I mean, sure, as, as yeah. two people who took Glaceon to great finishes. I mean, Glaceon's a great <laughs> How many times did your opponents play single puzzle against you at Charlotte? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I thought about it. I was like, if, you know, if everyone wants to play Zorak, I mean, maybe I'll play Glaceon. But... Yeah, I mean, I had I had played it at the, the League Cup down in Louisville the previous week, and I was like, this thing is just fire. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm rolling with it. Too bad it doesn't beat the other two decks. So. No, it's, it's not much of a deck anymore in format. I'm really intrigued by by Zoropod's kind of like resurgence in this format right now. I, I think I, it is something to be to be really reckoned with right here. Yeah, mm. yeah, for sure. I think it just struggles with Garbodor. Yeah, I, I think it struggles, struggles with, with Garbodor. Uh, attacking Hoopa is right. a deck you just don't beat, and uh, so those are its two like big attacking big Hoopa counters. was supposed to be and, dead. And it, it <laughs> the Greninja, I suppose. Like, well, maybe not. Uh, I mean, from from Nailbiter, from LA, I mean, I feel like the first impression will will take care of that. Sure, sure, sure. Oh, the BM from Mahone. Yeah, of course. You attach the yes. beast energy to get an extra 30 yeah, damage. Yeah, to get the because, extra 30 well, damage. Well, and 60, right? Uh, well, yeah. Two. He had... Well, yeah. Well, wait, no. Oh, no, 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 it's no, not it's not the was Okay, okay. Yeah, but it was. He had the two Oh, no, it absolutely was. Yeah, yeah. I think in his head, he just wanted to make sure he didn't make any mistakes. Sure, and why not, you know? Yeah, I mean, it, I mean. Well, and also, yeah, you, you, you have game know, also play, like. Riley's kind of a resurgent uh, face in the Ohio community. So I think, you know, this is really a statement by Andrew putting the beast energy down to say, <laughs> they, "Hey, get down, Riley, <laughs> get down." You're they, not. They you're actually not do have the a huge, floor. They do have a huge rivalry, so this is yeah, great. Yeah, this absolutely. Is feed and fire to the flames, okay? Absolutely. So we see them each mulligan one time. Right. Um, and so uh, as soon as we get back to the game, yep, uh, they'll shuffle back up and uh, draw a new hand. All right, and so you can watch the uh, the incredible shuffling tactics of these two players. Coming with the uh, riffles, yep, yeah. and overhands. Yeah, it's interesting too because I, I've noticed with with Andrew, like the more I've watched him, I continue to see mash shuffling more than anything else. But I think that's also like a mid game thing. Mm. Things to talk about while you're waiting for the game to start. I mean, I'm still with based even based on the first game. I'm still firm that this is this is a 50-50. Like, I really the do nail biter that, yeah. that I watched when they played round two mm -hmm. was insane. I mean, yeah. it, the tempo went back and forth between both players. But how did like, it happen? It happened where both players would get the cards they needed, and right. then so how would how would how would that uh, how would Riley need to play to make that happen here? I mean, Riley needs to play in a way where he sets Ooh, up his Andrew board state and he's layer. able to just pop things with Mew. Yeah. Take out Garbodor, keep his Zorox being able to draw cards, and yeah. then, and then well, end, and end Mahone to very low yeah, card counts. I definitely agree with that, because he doesn't wow, Mahone we get does a double not have that artillery the here. way the Buzzrock decks do. But, um, you know, something else that I want to just, like, point out that I think is kind of neat, this is basically a rematch of uh, Natalie versus Ian Robb in the in the uh, Collinsville Regional Finals. Except Ian Robb was playing Lorantis promo. Oh, that's right, he was. And we didn't have Beast Ring then. Right. Mm. And Ry Riley's list, I really like Riley's list. I mean, like... Two counter catcher is super strong. Oh, the counter catchers are deck. so good, especially in a two shot deck where you're not aggressively hitting these these things right away. And I mean, like I mean, you got imagine when when you played that against me earlier, I was sure. a bit surprised to see that. I was like, whoa. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> really nice because <laughs> I, really I, you know you you why is Lycan Rock Zorak the most prevalent? Uh, because it has Bloodthirsty Eyes. Well, okay, Bloodthirsty Eyes. And why is Bloodthirsty Eyes good? It's because it's a non-supporter that has the effect of a supporter. So yeah, that's the... Absolutely. In, in, in and, and that's amazing against thing. Garbodor because you do oh, not want to just use a Guzma under no. Guard Block. I mean, no. if you're not drawing any cards, you do not want to just Guzma no. something up. Exactly. So if you can counter catch the Garbodor and draw cards in the same it, turn, absolutely. I mean, that's just beautiful. Or, yeah. or you know... Um, 
or uh, you know disrupt. Right, right. Yeah, turn, yeah. You know? And we do. We did see that turn one Bridget from uh, Riley. We right. also saw the parallel city went down. Now, I don't know how much. Uh, I know Andrew's bench last game was not too big, but it, it's going to depend on what he sees because right now he has no attackers on board. He's only got the Tapu Lele and then a Trubbish. So playing an N here, trying to find something. Yeah. So Riley here wants energy, uh, grass energy. Oh, not even. Maybe but like an, an evolution. He draws like grass an energy. Soda full and stone. A Guzma. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah right. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. That's huge. I mean, yeah. And, you know, you just figure he you just need, needs to go get the Glissapod. Yeah. Why I mean, th this is this is my problem with Buscar. I mean, like. I think the deck is inherently like it's hard to draw all the pieces that you need. You know, sure. if you hit him, I mean, you hit them, but like, oh, absolutely, it's no Zorak the, where you the get deck to draw thin through everything. The deck does not thin itself. No, you it are doesn't. limited to the six cards that you support her for every turn. I mean, yeah, yeah, you don't you don't have like like Buzzrock has Octillery, which makes it so much more consistent. I mean, you got Order Pad, but like flipping coins is not. Yeah, seem you're like, starting to flip coins then. I, I mean, do not have much confidence in coin flipping. No, and my 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 experience with cards like Crushing Hammer and Super Scoop Up over the past several years will tell me that, yeah, that's not something I really want to be involved in. So, do you, Andrew do you go for another cannot here? play two unless he fails one of them. So we'll see. Make sure he, he yeah. did play two Nest Balls at the same time, right? Right. I mean, okay. I, I think I he's going to fail. I assume he's going to fail. fail. He, did, he just doesn't we'll, want to we'll, see it we'll take hand. a peek just to make sure he doesn't put two bench Pokemon yeah, down. I just hope. Yeah. Well, yeah, okay. I have to assume There's that it had to be another Trubbish. And he's going for the shuffle, so he yeah. knew, he knew okay. full well. Yeah, okay. he probably it, said it, and uh, we couldn't hear it. I so, do really yeah. like this, Amanda. I mean, you might think, like, oh, he needs to get a baby buzz in case this buzz gets knocked no, out. No, But Riley I, is going to be targeting play. down Garbodors. Yeah, I, I, needs I, I to think set it's up as absolutely many Garbodors correct as he to can. get the second Trubbish, especially because if a Guzma Galissapod were to come down on the second turn and take out that Trubbish, you know, Andrew would have to then go find another Trubbish, which no could energy fall attachment him again. Is critical. Yeah, he I didn't mean, hit anything. Especially in a deck where that doesn't play Max Elixir. I mean, single attachments is oh, huge. I didn't, I didn't realize he wasn't. Oh, because he has B string. Uh, yeah, that's right. Okay, so we hope to see from Riley an Evo Soda. There is the yep, Evo Soda. There it is. He, I think, is going to want to use it on Zorark. Yeah, I think you're going to want to. He go doesn't for care about because, getting damage here no, because he's no, just you don't gonna care wanna, about that. You want to establish yeah. your board, no, this, I think, this, at this point. Because the Buzzwool does not have a single attachment, it's going to be eons before that Buzzwool can actually take out his Zorark. Yeah. I sure. mean, he's going to have to hit Beast Energy Choice Band. Sure. Yeah, sure, absolutely. He says he plays one of Choice Band in there. Yeah, and he's going to. I mean, if you hit I mean, Beast Energy not, Choice Band. Even, even then, he's not going to I don't know if I agree with that. I, I also do not agree well, with he, that. Because he has the Field Blower in hand. So he could get a lot of use out of this Zoroark if he. I mean, were to I, play one. I understand not wanting to put the Zoroark on the board, but even with Beast Energy and Choice Band, that that Buzzwool is hitting 180 on Zoroark. That is not enough to one shot it. You would have to add the 30 Snipe on top of it. Well, for Andrew, there's no way for him to knock out the Wimpod unless he gets Beast and Beast Energy and and, uh, and he would he would need a Fighting Fury would, Belt. The, the thing is, and Goose, because yeah. Andrew whiffed, he would need a lot. He whiffed Energy Attachment on turn one. He can't attach the Slay and the Buzzle on the same turn. I mean, see, see, and this is He's one of the things that I'm noticing I mean, in, in Andrew's deck. He's got the Choice Man and the Fighting Fury Belt. He plays one Choice Band, okay. four Belts. Okay, so I'm just saying, like, when you're starting to volley between the two, and it looks like he's about to attach one of those to the Garbage. I mean, yeah, this is... Out of necessity. This another, is, he wants to, he another, wants to make certain mm. that it gets activated prior to, you know, like, as opposed to whiff, essentially whiffing a float. Uh, another really annoying thing that I just noticed is that there's only 100 damage on the Tapu Lele, and you're wondering why. Well, uh, Riley, city. first impression, yep. which does 120, but he played the Parallel City down. So I really don't like this play from Riley, because yeah. he would have no. gotten a lot more utility out of going for his Zorro Zorro and Zorro saving the Glissapod to, to go in on a Garbodor. Yeah, I mean, saving the Glissapod to go in on a Garbodor, which yeah, he he has a float stone on like, his on his Lele, like so he could. Mahone could that reasonably way, get a float stone and just move this Lele out of the active. Yeah, and then at that point, you know, you're 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 burning a Guzma and an attack just to make a Lele that's never going to hit you go away. Yep. And, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's, well, yeah, I think Riley has two puzzles. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> welcome to uh, Zorark. Well, yeah. Which is uh, pretty awesome. <laughs> so he's going to want to, I think, play the field blower first. Yes. He's going to want to puzzle absolutely. those back. Yeah, he's absolutely yes. going to want to retrieve And then get that. something else. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So I, I hope that's what he does. Well, and he also played a single puzzle in the beginning of the game, so he I think, probably will want to retrieve that. I think he might even want to not go for his own parallel city. 
I could see so that he could too. play the parallel in his hand. I mean, yeah. unless he wants to trade. Well, for he it. could try to do. He could try to play over his hand, or he would just. I mean, like I don't think the minus twenty on. damage is really a threat right now. I don't think that's hurting him. You know, like obviously when you play this deck enough, I think you kind of learn that <laughs> the one of treasure coming in. Oh hey, goodness. this is the a card leak promo yeah. too. Yeah, this, is, this great. is a card that we love. So we were Mew. thinking, Mew's hey, gonna come in. So I mean, is this gonna? Yeah, are we gonna see Mew or are we gonna see another Tapu Lele oh, here? We could see. The I think the Lele because he doesn't. Yeah, have a if he doesn't have the supporter, yeah, and he could even go for a and not. And it, it wouldn't have made sense with a field blower. Okay, yeah, he is going to go for the draw supporter. Now, so he JW, have one. Do, I mean, do you? Does he? I mean, should he have used his double puzzle on the field blower in there? I think so. Because I think if he if he risks <laughs> because... getting guard blocked again, he's not going to get those. Well, puzzles. he's not going to get. Those puzzles. I yeah. think that I think the one thing you do have to factor in with that, like I I understand that point, but I think if he double puzzles there, he both of his targets are are already set in stone. He has to get the field blower and he has to get the other puzzle of time that he single puzzles. Sure, with that's the great. That but seems like a great. But there's turn. nothing wrong with that because you're putting another field blower as well as still having two puzzles in there. Yeah, like I'm I'm. Completely, I would 100% fine with that because yeah, the would, longer this game goes on and the fewer times that Riley has the Zorark, yeah. you know, the less opportunity he's going to have to have well, double puzzle. Well, and the way you look at it, it's, it is almost a certainty that if he hits the double puzzle play later in the game, it's still those same two targets. I feel like it has to be. That's fair. He hits an Evo Soda oh and an Ultra Ball. Goodness. This is going to be that a is great amazing. turn. This is going to be a great turn. Yeah, right especially here. after having used that field blower. That is going to. With with two Zora works. I mean, Riley there. needs to uh, armor press here, right? I, I really feel like an armor press would be a beneficial armor press because the, the 80 damage will be enough. You know, factoring in the parallel city, the 80 will be enough. And to he knock can set himself up for a, a, a what's it called? A crossing cut. Well, and well, and the, the thing you have to realize here is that oh, there's a DC. I is mean, that with the boom. with the armor press, you know, that minus 20 could be huge because. You have to figure this puts Mahone in beast ring territory. Right, right. So with a strong energy, you figure if he beast rings, I think rings, an absorption still gets all the way oh, through. Oh no, there. an absorption still does it. <laughs> and that is oh, oh he he's going to cross and cut I, here. I actually, I actually like good. this. I, like I actually this. yes, because yes, Mahone I was really almost like this play. certainly going to absorption, going to absorption that and, and, and knock that out. And there's no, two I attachments off the board. Yeah, I mean, and I absolutely love this play here, and I. I don't, I don't really mind him giving up two prizes with the Tapu Lele here. I think this is the right play. I think you want to have your Zora Warts able to be on the board so you can draw all those cards, even if it's just he reactivates Garb. Oh, I have Field Blower. I get a turn where I get to draw all these cards. Hit my puzzles a time. Retrieve my Field Blowers. Mahone has got to do a lot this turn. He, 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 he absolutely does. He's got a does. And we yeah. still got to float yeah. well, if, this, if this turn does not include a B string, I think this game is going to be going down. Could go downhill very quickly. Or he even a float stone. I mean, a float stone have, yeah, is yeah. huge here. Yeah, he does have a Guzma, but I don't think he has a B string in his hand, so he can't. If he had a Guzma B string, he could knock out this this Galissapod, this right, right, which would be a huge. I mean, it's play. the only threat on the board. Right I suspect now. this will go well for Andrew. I think he'll attach, um, attack into. You know, and attack into the Lele, whatever. Knock it out oh, or even not. Oh, he's going to go for Baby Buzz. He's, oh, he's, he's pulling Baby, baby Buzz out yeah, here. Yeah, he's going to go for the Baby Buzz wall here. Oh, oh, never mind. I mean... Well, and the other thing you have to remember is, is that if he, if he, even if he did, and I don't think he has the Beast Ring, but if he had the Beast Ring Guzma, if he doesn't activate that Garbodor, he, he opens the threat of a Mew EX coming down right. and obliterating that He needs to that Sycamore, wall. Cynthia, or Yeah, he needs to turn. play a draw supporter, well, get that Garbodor back He has back in his hand. I think he's going to He's going to end Riley down to four. End Riley to a low count. Get and then try to stone on that Garbodor. Yeah, activate that Garbodor. Make him work and for even it. Even if I mean. you even if you miss the B string and, and you have to just do a, a a hammerhead here, you know, like you get 30 damage on one of those Zoroas, and then you're in a position where you're we're looking at the board. You could say, okay, well, you used crossing cuts. So you don't have a one hit knockout on a big attacker here, mm -hmm. and I think that's what he's just—he's basically just resigning himself, saying, I will still have B string available to me next turn, no matter what happens. So, so for Riley, mm -hmm. he held an Ultra Ball in his hand, and I believe that was to have a response to for the Buzz Wall because right. then to be able he could get, get, get the Mew. Yeah, 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 right. yeah exactly. Drop it down and just blow up the Buzz Wall, or even the Mewtwo. In the event that the Garbodor was reactivated. Right. If, if Mahone gets a, t a float stone right now, Riley needs to draw this field blower because yeah. he is. And I am. Four cards, I, mean, I am not confident he's going to yeah, draw the pieces no. he needs. No, and I am assuming that Mahone is run, isn't isn't running any copies of field blowers. A lot of these buzzwall decks typically don't. Of course, yeah. It's a go big or go home kind yeah, of deck. Yeah, so, I mean. so, so that that float stone is going to stick on the top of Lele and give it free retreat for the remainder of the game. Or is this the going. Andrew from YouTube? Yes. yes, this is Andrew Mahone from the Tricky uh, Gym. Tricky Gym, yes. Formerly known as Darium's competitive Pokemon. What? And he oh, looks he, like he, he, get he the has he, there it is. Okay. bad hand. He All does right. have the float stone here, though. We do see a Fighting Fury Bell. I think Riley drew a counter catcher, though. He, Ooh. 
he did draw a counter. That, I, I mean, that's that's not going to help Riley though. And Mahone did not, not hit the yeah. B string, so yeah, not. I don't think it is. If he, as long as he has another supporter for next, I turn, think he, he just can, mallows for the field blower. Yeah, I'd like that. I, seems like the play. Mallow for a field blower and another. And Zoroark? then just draw it next turn. Yeah, right. Yeah, I could definitely see another Zora. He's, he's gonna, he's Zorark. gonna pull. Right. Yeah, he's, he's gonna prevent I mean, he that knockout. That out. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna prevent that knockout, which I think is good. Um, he Riley plays another type of Pokemon card in his deck, flying type. We just saw a floatstone <laughs> yes, fly across did. the table. <laughs> well, I mean, it is a floatstone, you know, it does float. Yeah, it levitated right out of his yeah, deck. And, exactly. Uh, Bro, can you imagine floatstone out in the format next next oh, week? Oh, wow. I, I, I'm, I'm still How do you retreat? Like, by, escape by using switch. energy? Switch, bro. Switch. <laughs> escape, escape rope. rope. Yeah. Oh my I, I'm, not, I'm not confident that a skateboard will do the job. Although I'm sure Mahone will try to convince us otherwise. What are people going to put on their Garbodors? Well, I think... Garbodors rotating. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> What are people going to put on their their dawn wings? So absolutely, he puts a field blower on top, right? Does 100%. Have, I, th I think you have to. Does, he have, does he have one card in hand at least so he can trade once the field blower uh, comes down? Once the field blower comes down. Is this one of his cards? I believe so, yeah, 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 because he, he took two prize cards. Okay, well, that's good. Yeah, it does. And he gave him does it. All right. I mean, so it's really not that bad. It's like really good. The Mahone. Yeah, they're basically just. Oh, oh no, he drew the B string. Just, I mean, yeah. we were expecting Andrew to hit it last turn anyway, so it's not like. The, yep. the question here He's now a turn is, behind still. does Mahone have a Guzma? Can he knock this Galissapod? Like out? Mahone should be on two prizes right now, but he isn't. If he hit that B string last turn, Riley would be so screwed. Well, the coolest thing here for Riley that he has going for him is the parallel. Right. Yeah. Uh, we I, have I, kind I, of I neglected agree. to mention that Andrew, you know, has been extremely limited because mm. you do want both. Trubbish is down. You gotta yeah. have both trubbish. Yeah, down. and that that takes uh, away from your options. But elsewhere. if you get an early parallel, you can't even remove that. No so, baby buzz coming out for him. Either. No, right, and, he, exactly. and he is very fortunate that he didn't get stuck with a remain with a Tapu Lele remaining on his board. That mm, it did get knocked that's true. out. That's true. That now that would have been really interesting by Riley to try to keep a to keep the, the Tapu Lele, the Lele on the board. Yeah, yeah. you and, know, and, and I, I maybe would have. I anymore. maybe would have liked to see that. Uh, him play around it a little bit more. Yeah, that would have been nice. Uh, I mean, it's basically Shock that card. says, there. you guys are great commentators. Thank you very much. We really appreciate that. So here we see a B string. He's going to go to the active, you think, or to the bench? Uh, um, I, I mean, think he tries. I, I think it's going to the bench, okay. yeah. Because that, he needs to go after this Kalisapod. Yeah, if here. he can get a Guzma, he that would needs be absolutely absorption enormous. on this Kalisapod. Yes, he, ah, he has, attacking. He he has, has to knock this Kalisapod <laughs> out. Andrew's hand is and dead. I think, I think you're going to lay. Oh, and he is going to go for the, the for the Kalisapod here, it looks like, for the 30. And I I wonder I, if Andrew doesn't know if Riley just put a yeah, blow on top. I, he had there to have known that was happening. You had to have known that. Because there, yeah, there's a the trade. Yeah, the counter is a, counter a dead card, so yep. that's gonna give oh, him. Wow. Yeah, and there's an and, end. And we're out. You know, we're back in. So. Ah. Yeah, and he's still gonna have at least one more trade following this end. Yeah, and, and well, if, the, he, if the he gets another Zorak, the he'll interesting have two. thing here from Riley is that he mallowed that N on top. Yeah, so um, it's interesting to see so that he went for an N. It's actually kind of a shame because Andrew didn't have anything. No, anything. he, he, he didn't. He, he top decked the B string. Yeah. It's funny because Riley loves Sycamore. In yeah, one of and, and if he'd have gone deck, for the Sycamore or even it, a Cynthia, it was probably prized. I'm betting that Riley. It, 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 I, I would, I would argue. He's had either already played it or it's prized. Well, there's two. Riley is a. Riley is a pretty experienced player who's, you know, especially over this last year, has really just, like, come into his own. And, you know, like, as someone who's from his local area, you know, down in Columbus, like, I've played more games against him over the last year than I would really know to recount and watched him play against others countless times. Mm, sure. Oh, so, wow. He's getting three Zoroks. Oh, hey, my, oh this my is goodness. beautiful. I yeah. mean, this, this is, is beautiful. This is what it's all about. The boys are coming to town. Now, this boys is, what, this is what we were talking about earlier. There's no no sign of a puzzle in his hand, right? Yeah. If Mahone gets a flow Oh stone my out, goodness! Yeah. Like, this is where he that's, should have puzzled. Enormous. Yeah. Be because for both, the blower. both field blowers are in the discard pile. They are now. no and longer alive. Importantly, here. Riley did not get a an energy, energy. or a float stone to retreat. Yep. So, so this Lele's yeah. gonna eat it. Yeah. This Lele ha this, is, is gonna bite the dust. This Lele has taken three shots. <laughs> Mahone has been stalling basically. Yeah, but, but and it's hey, working. It's yeah, working. it's working. Well, Mahone's been doing exactly what we saw. Uh, uh, Jimmy do right. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I actually, draw. Yeah. I, I, I did notice that earlier. Attack. Yeah. Attack. And yeah. Do it again. Profit. Yeah. Well, yeah. And, and, and I love theme that. Deck. I, theme I, deck. I, I love that Mahone <laughs> put the energy on the bench balls. Well, rather than being overly aggressive. Mm. You know, he okay. doesn't want that thing. It's he knows it's not going to get one shot, but he doesn't want it to take a hit at all. And I, I, I just, I, I love the conservative play there. And now we're going to see another B string, and we're going to have good. two souped up buzzwolves. This is really good. And again, you know, I've been asking this every turn does he have a Guzma in hand? So Riley is still ahead on prizes. If Riley can get a Mew out 
Absolutely. Blow up one of these buzz balls. Yeah. He's still way Because the, that, in this, that Garbodor you know? is not, it, it, if it is not, it, it's not online. But, but so Mahone, really I have not seen that many floatstones. There's a tool. No. And so. he, he does have a Guzma, it looks like. So he's he can knock it. out that Galissapod. And that removes all the energy yeah, yeah. from He's going to go for this absorption. Board. Nasty. And, and then just all this of gross. his energy. And then play the tool. Play the tool down. Play the tool. Yeah, oh it doesn't matter goodness. what it is. Like, just, okay, yeah, choice, man. That, that's fine. Now, and then knock it. Now, this is a scenario where Riley has to hit double puzzle. Yeah, with he has no to. With Zorks. none. In, yeah. There's one. He, there, there's one. I, I don't know, man. Got to get this that is, second one. This is sketchy. He has no energy attachments, too. Yeah, yeah. He, he, if he has no energy attached, he has no energy on his board. And th that's why that, that play was so huge. And okay, So we see an Ultra Ball discarding a Lele and a Choice Band. And we'll see what he gets here. Yeah, so it's got to be a Mew. It's going to be the Mew. Okay. So he's got to get that double puzzle. Maybe, does he maybe have a puzzle in his hand that we I, missed last I, I, I time? <sighs> he had a lot of cards, no, so it is going to be tough. But. Have it. But if he doesn't have it, then he's sitting here for a turn. I mean, or two. he has no other choice. And There's unlike, like nothing else yeah, to do and unlike right. his attacks, like, he's gotta hope he top decks yeah. the, the, the puzzle, the second puzzle. Yeah, that, that's his yeah. Riley's out right now. He's gonna yeah, hold on to the Mew in his hand mm -hmm. and hope he top decks the puzzle. Yeah. But even then, I don't know what he can do. I Cause, actually, cause Mahone is gonna well, go down is, to two prizes. Yeah, yeah, Mahone's gonna go down to two prizes. And what, what, if, and Mahone, what if Mahone <laughs> were to play an end right here too? Is another thing. You end that Mew back into the deck. Uh, I honestly true. think Mahone wins. It's it's done. Yeah, right? this is he's gonna this take. Is, he's coming he's gonna back from an incredibly impact right now. slow start. He's gonna knuckle impact right now, and he has two yeah. buzz bowls yeah. that can do an absurd amount of damage. Yeah, all the damage. I mean, the best Riley can hope for is that he plays Mewtwo and then hits the buzz bowl with four energy. Yeah, with but then the one he, press attacker. Yeah, with a one press attacker. But he doesn't play Mewtwo. He cut the Mewtwo. Yeah, there's oh, he, no Mewtwo. Oh, he, he, oh, that's what I was trying to say. Oh my goodness. I was trying to tell you this. I really, oh, wow. I really, don't, Riley's I really lost. Don't know this is over. He, yes. ha he has to top this, deck. A, he has to top deck a puzzle. I don't like time. to be and a guy then, who's really like, don't. okay, there's no yeah. way he can win. I really but don't like, think so. The one, no. there's no way. The one way, two balls no, actually, the, the one way he could win oh. is to Guzma the Garbodor. If Andrew has not enough Guzma or uh, basic energy, he will <laughs> okay. lose. You're right. However, because he does not have a field blower. Right. Because he doesn't play his own field blower. I'm more than confident Andrew has at least one Guzma. Well, that's what you think. That's what we Let's all see think. It. Let's see it, Riley. Let's see it. And okay, I'm checking out the comments here. I think he drew um, Cynthia. Okay, not. Nah. Uh, Spoon sauce. As far as Rocket oh, On, yeah. that's actually funny that you asked that because um, Ryan Perry and I were playtesting some of that earlier today before the tournament. I'm um, looking to hopefully get some Rocket On videos recorded at uh, probably internationals, hopefully. So uh, maybe a little bit after that, you can look forward to some fun stuff there. Just to answer your question. All right, Diddy. He draws double puzzle. Oh hits my the blower. What? What mode does he do? Is that it? I, think. Uh, I mean, he loses. He, loses. He's done. he, he can play. Yeah, he can yeah. play counter catcher. Yeah, I th I th I he ha he has to pull the. He has to pull the, the, he has to pull the Garbodor up. No, he has to pull the counter. Yeah, he has to pull the yeah. Garbodor up with the counter catcher. That's then he it. has to hope that Mahone doesn't have any more goose. Four, but five. you need to figure in Mahone's deck. That's that one he's... puzzle. Is there a second puzzle in there? Oh boy, Riley there knows. Isn't. Riley knows. Riley knows. He drew his cards real slow. He knows. Yeah. He's like, well, this is this is I'm as done. good as over. Yeah. Okay. There we go. He's gonna ram. He's, he's gonna ram. He's, <laughs> he's uh, straight memeing. No, no. He, yeah, he's stalling. Oh for no, one he's more turn. he's stalling for one more turn because yeah, yeah. it is a single private. But unless Mahone has, Mahone has a Guzma. Has a Guzma. Yeah, yeah, Guzma. Okay. There it is. All right, we're gonna move on to right. the finals here. So this is gonna be Andrew Mahone against the winner of uh, Kevin Baxter. A convincing, a convincing 2-0. Yeah, yeah, a very convincing ah, win. This is, I thought had a lot yes. of height. Got just put down. Yeah. Real sure. easy right there. Put down. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, but we we talked about it. We said Garb is not a fun matchup for the deck. No. 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 It is absolutely, and that is something that. You, you look at like the board Zoroark, Malamar. Like these are two decks that do not do well against Garbodor. Right. And then you look at the Buzzle. Like the Buzzrock matchup. You know, like again, if you can manage to lock them into a low hand, you know they can't draw off their artillery. The problem is the Buzzrock matchup or the Buzzrock deck is so much more explosive. So I'm predicting here that Kevin Baxter will take. I mean, we have Give, to go check. Given the matchup that we saw. Given the matchup against Buzz. He's going to do it. Yeah. It's going to be. Kevin's yeah, going to be our chance. I mean, I, I, hate to, I hate to, I hate to, like, to do that. Jump you know, I mean, we've all, we've all the, won but, against but, Otto. But, right, but right. the matchup but, yeah. between Kevin and Mahone just looks like K-Bax's matchup all oh, the way through. Yeah, I mean, for sure. because you have. Garb does, it does very little. It, Gar, yeah, all it does is stop him from using. Kevin kind of scratches his ear with that one. All he does, all it does is stop him from using Invasion. Right. That's it. I mean, they're both doing the same thing. But Kevin's like, thanks for turning my abilities off. Yeah, it, you know, and it's, it's and fun. and Kevin's hitting him for weakness. Yeah, and Kevin has one prize. Attackers. One prize attack. Well, right. Kevin also so, doesn't have I mean, a two-two line of Garbodor clogging up four spots in his deck. Right. 
and I, the, the Dawn Wings promo in there is very good. Oh, yeah, the it's, Dawn Wings is extremely good. The Hoopa in there is very good. Yep. The, You're right. You're so right. So, I mean, great job to Riley for making the top four. I Absolutely. mean, he should be very pleased be with, very the, with a deck that is, um, you know, hasn't really right seen now. too much. I mean, Pablo played it, I think, in, in It also Mexico. got second at Sheffield. It got second at Sheffield. It got second at okay. Sheffield, of course, okay. of course. And that's kind of what the list was based off of. Um, so it's kind of seeing a resurgence uh, in play, and I think that's due to a lot of, um, a lot more, yeah, I mean, we talked about it, being a little bit safer, being a little bit more, um, there's literally no reason. Being a little bit more, you know, consistent, I, I suppose, you know, one prize attacker versus the two prize Lycanroc that you often see paired with Zorark. Right. So, um, you know, we'll see how the deck evolves going into Nats. Will it be a big play? Won't it be a big play? I mean, I think we're kind of seeing this resurgence in Garbodor. I absolutely, yeah. Um, and let's, let's talk to this really guy. Yeah. The deck. Let's see what he has to say let's about. Let's see what Andrew Mahone has to say about this. So I'll here we have Andrew time. Mahone. Oh, oh, vengeance is Congratulations. Vengeance is his. Vengeance yeah, is his. You. You're going to go yes. into the final. So, uh, uh -huh. Andrew, uh, tell us about what you just did. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, we paid Riley back for that, right. uh, that, that gamey, uh, gamey in Swiss. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that was rough. Right. Uh, but, no, I think we saw right there, that's why, like, one of my primary issues with Zorark decks is sometimes they can be flimsy, you know. They can be Sometimes you don't well. get uh, pure fire and everything that you need. I mean, but that's a that's every that's every deck, though. So, I, like, I really like decks that are just low maintenance and kind of just, like, need the least amount to go right yeah. in order to Easy decks. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, easy yeah. decks. Yeah. Easy decks. Yeah. I wouldn't call it easy decks, though. <laughs> Uh, we were yeah. talking a little linear. Decks. It's a linear deck. Yeah, I mean, you're getting yeah. in there. Not, right. not to the devalue. The strategy's basic. Not to devalue. The strategy's basic. The strategy I need to set up yeah, one not stage to one. Not to devalue. I need to set up one stage one. That's it. And then I attack with basic Pokemon that take yeah. one yeah. energy. Yeah. And you're, you're just and have item-based energy attack. acceleration. Yeah. Well, okay, so yeah. I have a question for you. Um, sure. In in the game, yeah. this game too especially, he, he was able to, because you don't play Field Blower, so he has right. the Parallel City on you. Yes. And you started Lele. Yes. Now, and you got both Trubbishers out. Yes. You didn't want him to knock out that Lele, but why do you think I he wanted did? him to knock out the Lele? Or, I mean, you, yeah, of course, you did I want it. I wanted it because to clear No, no, no right, to clear yeah. So, I mean, if from your opinion, like, was that was that a big misplay on, on his part? or What, or knocking out the Lele? Should he have gone around the Lele to the Buzzbowl? Because uh, we were saying, we were looking at If he at had this. the option to, He went then for Glissapod, yes. right? Yes. He went for Glissapod. We were thinking, because, I mean, especially with the Parallel City, he could have gone in with Zorark right there, because you need a lot of attachments to take out I Zorark. Wanted, I wanted him to knock out the Lele to clear me some space. Right. Now, I was greedy and putting down both Trubbish there. Sure. But I know that if I put only one down, he'll just knock, he'll knock it out. It out. Right. So I was like, this game, I already won game one. Mm. So I was like... We were literally joking about it. I was like, this is a little bit of a risky play on my part, putting both Trubbish down, but I'm going to go for it since I won game one. And it was we're really going to go good. high risk, high reward on this game just to like try to you know, garb and just shut the deck down. And I think he knew he could not deal with because you were just going to set up another one. I mean, That's it, what I, yeah. It's, it's a waste of his resources and to do We that. were joking that in all of our testing, he never, you know, never deals with the ability lock by field blower. He always dealt with it by knocking out the garb. Right. So I was like, okay, I'm going to like make you knock out a GX, right? I'm going to have garb out no matter what. I don't really didn't even care what GX he knocked out. It was going to be the Lele or it was going to be a Buzzwall. Obviously, I'm better off if he knocks out the Lele, but like either one, I was going to go, you know, B-string and and just hope the garb stuck. Like right. That's why we were going all in on that strategy. And we had that problem in round two when you played him, is that you end him to a low card count. Uh, and he, he hits, he hits all the puzzle. cards. Right. I mean, I mean sometimes that. it happens. And in today's case, multiple ends. We saw Riley just literally draw nothing. I mean, right. And that's what happened in my top eight games as well. I mean, I was playing against Malamar, and it was just like we had so many. We would call it the shake and bake because it's like you're honestly just out there, and you're like, all right, let's see, you know, about what, to what's going to happen. Hold it ice, basically. You know, yeah. ending myself to six, ending my opponent to sure. four. We're gonna we got Garvador. We're, we want two B strings <laughs> and a knockout. We're yeah. both gonna be at four, but my board position is gonna be way superior. Sure. And that's what the deck it does so well. I mean, four four N. I mean, you just have uh, you know, you have great ways to limit your opponent's options while, you know, limiting their draw with Garbodor. Right. And then, I mean, it's just luck of the draw. I mean, like... Speaking of B-String, though, so Riley knocks out the Lele. Yeah. We were thinking, I mean, you're going to for sure take one B-String, right? Yeah, right. No exactly. B-String. No Not, B -string. I mean, what do you think in that situation? I mean, you're, you're basically jet punching, right? Yep. We're fine. And then, so he... And he actually was joking with me, so he's like, uh, you know, because I whiffed it, and I'm fine with it, because I got the garb. So, like, we're we're totally cool. So I, like, set up the garb, and I'm like, I'm just going to jet punch this turn. He doesn't have any bench space. He doesn't have anything that can knock out this. He doesn't have space for Mew, right? right? right. So I'm fine just putting damage on board, right, right? right? So I put damage on board, and then, you know, even if he field blowers, what's he going to do? He can't capitalize on the situation. He doesn't have bench space for Mew, so I'm comfortable. Is there. that why you didn't want to absorption the Glissapod earlier? Now, I'll get to that, because that was a play that we talked about as well. It made things a little bit harder the way the game actually played out, but I was preparing for the worst with that knuckling back. So what happened was uh, 
Yeah, so then like he jab punch, you know, and then like I do, I top deck the the beast string. Right? Oh right, right. But yeah, then yeah. I don't knock out the lele. Right. Uh, duh, because I'm like, okay, this is horrible. Right. If I knock out the lele, it's just gonna mew me, right? Right, right. So like I need to just like give myself one more turn. So I, like you know I beast string to the bench or whatever, jet punch again, and like I'm gonna make him come up, and then I'm gonna deal, and, or and I'm when, gonna get when that came, he had to sure. choose between two buzzwolves, and you're gonna take four prizes with yes. that anyway. So it's so I wanted to like slow the game down to my pace, you know, right. jam his deck up. And just have two buzzwolves that he can't deal with with his, with his board state, right. and that's that's great for me. Now, when I when I went and I knuckle impacted it instead of absorption, yeah. oh uh, that was because oh boy, that was because uh, I was preparing for that buzzwolf to get knocked out. Mm. So my my idea, my game plan. I think I had an end in hand. So like my game plan was like worst case scenario, field blowers gets the the mew, right. knocks sure. me out. Sure. Then I have N absorption the mew. And now, like my, you know, yes. even and though then, I'm not, and then you have nothing that can take a knockout. Yes. Right. Attack so down. even then, like even if you he, were just you know, I'm yourself. still cool. Like end him to two, uh, I absorption, and now I've got a fully loaded buzzwall that can attack whatever you put active. Right. You know, so you can't put any GXs. Yeah. Uh, he was saying he didn't play the enhanced hammers list, so like he didn't have an option to like, you know, take that win condition away from me once I set it up. So. Right. Right. Exactly. I think that was like brilliant play. Really. Yeah. And 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 I think a lot. Some people might have. You had the little buzzwall in hand, the sledgehammer buzzwall. I think a lot of people might have played that down. Yeah. Right. You know, but you just we saw you drop the GX. Yeah, and I you think that was, to, that was really good. Yeah, yeah. You need in, to have the GX. In hindsight, I was like, what is he? Like, what is he doing? He should be getting Sunshammer. No. But no. now I think no, about no, it. Not with the board great. We didn't need it because we were never going to knock out that Kalisopod with Sledgehammer. Right. So if I give myself only one balls wall, one Sledgehammer. He's going to go right in for the one that can kill the Kalisopod. And then, yeah. Right. And then, yeah. So, like, that's just horrible for me. I needed two bloated buzz. I was going to be able to get game. Right. You know, with that. So, you know, the, the thing, you can, like, you can deal with the little baby buzz, too. There are just way, you know, ways that he could deal with that in the deck. And, yeah, two loaded buzz ended up being the best thing. I was just going to hope so, that it So you beat Malamar in top eight, right? I did, yeah. So, I mean, is Malamar a 50-50 matchup? Uh, well, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's close. Uh, you know, Michael Livingston was playing... Uh, he was playing like uh, field blowers, and he had a max lectures as well. Super scary okay. to play against. Yeah. Uh, the matchup's very weird because you know you again you're just gonna shake a bake, man. Like you're gonna like you actually don't want to go ahead and prizes like super quick because if you're aggressive, so you just, don't want to just jet punch and K's and all. I that. mean, like I did that game one, and it almost backfired. I mean, mm -hmm. it was really stressful though because he was able to go. Uh, Moon's Eclipse GX on a Buzzwall, and then Guzma Moon's Eclipse GX on a second Buzzwall. Oh, Four no. prizes or, with one yeah, Invincible yeah, right, Dawn right, Wings. Right, right. Uh, you know, that's very hard to deal with. So we yeah. had to like get very lucky to pull that game out. For game sure. two, he goes up and gets a turn two, uh, you know, Dark Flash on my Buzzwall. Totally fine with it, right? Because we end him to four. Yeah. We absorption the thing, yep. right? Because we B string. Uh, and then it's just like, all right, you know, balls in my court. You know, you got to respond to this. And if you don't hit a field blower, things are going to be pretty stressful. So. Yeah. Now you're going to be playing against Kevin the, the Baxter. Basics. And so, what's, what's, so okay. So, yeah, so these are these are you know, of course, Kevin made it to the finals, uh -huh. and, and we saw him on stream stream earlier. He's playing this uh, psychic big basics deck. Right. Uh, utilizes B string and Ultra Beast to uh, you know do big damage. So, right. what uh, what's your strategy against that? I mean, it seems just this is like an auto loss. Yeah, yeah. this is a wash. We're thinking this might this not is be, be a great. bloodbath. Oh, this is right. going to be horrible. Okay. Oh. All right. Yeah. Look, There's at, look nothing at Kevin I can do. over there smiling. I know. Yeah. He's looking at his chops. He's looking at his chops. I know, man. I mean, I don't know. We could split. We could split the prize, but we can split the finals. Like, I, you know, I, I'd be open to it. ID the finals. Uh, yeah. yeah. All right. We'll let Kevin okay. talk. Okay. Yeah, that's good time. I don't think they want us to talk for too long. Okay. Great. I think we're before we get back to that. I just I have to go here pretty soon, but I have I do have something that I was. Uh, acquired on my Pokemon Go account, so for anyone who plays that, um, this is a 100% IV Poliwhirl. I named it Bailey, um, in honor of Nick Bailey, of course. His favorite Pokemon is Politoed, so I'm gonna go through the IVs here real quick just to show you guys. So, I don't know if you can see that text or not, it seems kind of hard to see, but whatever. It is a wonder, it is all three stats, it is exceeding expectations, so we are so going right. to yeah, we're evolve this sucker yeah, into a Politoed. Okay, uh, for Nick. I'm just gonna go ahead and get that, and then uh, we'll get to the finals here. So, and there we go, a 100% Politoed for Let's Nick Bailey, go. and named after him. So there we go. All right. Woo! Um, so I have to head on, unfortunately, but I'm gonna leave you in the hands of these two gentlemen. We are actually rotating um, out too, so you oh, see dang. Riley. Okay, so we're gonna. All right, we Riley, fired. Riley and Jimbo McClure is gonna come out here. All right, so Great. you'd be in good hands for the finals. Thank uh, you so thank much, you so much and for we'll watching. See you in a little bit. Yep. Follow me on Twitter if you want. You know, H I N D U C zero W. Yeah, follow uh, me too okay. at W R Heretic. Okay.